I hope you guys saw this palette being revealed on Instagram and ran right over here because you knew your girl would have a video up. So if you guys want to see two eye looks on the new Cosmic Brushes Undergrowth palette, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I do post quite often, so highly recommend subscribing. Turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post and without further blabbering, let's get into it. If you guys have been watching my channel for like the last 10 years, you know how much I love green eyeshadow. So I was so excited because this is really bringing me back. I feel like it's been a hot second since I saw a very grungy green palette and I was just so pumped when I received this palette in the mail. So thank you to Cosmic Brushes for sending this my way. This palette is launching on the 13th of this month and I think it's gonna be around 28 pounds. So if you wanna order it, I will put as much information as I have on the launch in the description box and you can use my discount code cage makeup to save i also have swatches and close-ups hopefully i'm flashing those on the screen while i'm telling you guys all this information but this palette is so so beautiful i feel like it's really been working for me to do a more neutral eye look and then do a more colorful eye look when i do these videos where i'm showing you guys a new palette or a new collection so Definitely let me know if that's working out for you guys as well, but I think it's kind of a nice way for me to show the range a palette can go in. So I did create a neutral look, so let's go ahead and hop into that first. Okay, so the first look I'm going to create is going to be my more neutral look, and I'm really excited. So this palette definitely has some beautiful neutral shades. And I just want to show you guys some options for quick and easy eye looks, especially since there's so many new releases. I feel like it helps to not always do the most complicated look every time. So I've been speaking about that in all of my newer palette videos, so hopefully you guys like that concept. But I'm going to start off basically with the shade Clay. This is like my kind of terracotta shade. And I love putting shades like this in my crease. So... I could easily do a two color look just by putting this all over the crease and then picking a beautiful shimmer shade and just slapping that on and I would totally be out the door with that if I was in a hurry and going somewhere. So I just want to talk you guys through some of my thoughts like I'm actually getting ready. It's probably like 9 o'clock right now. Let's see. Am I right? 8.56. <laughs> it's 8.56 on a Wednesday night and I got this palette in the mail yesterday and I'm trying to plan. Your girl's trying to be a planner and I know tomorrow night I'm going to get the Sigma and Little Mermaid collection so I'm going to have to film tomorrow night as well and I really want to make two looks happen with this palette so I basically have to film every night this week so I'm not complaining, I just am letting you guys know what's happening because I feel like sometimes we think that all creators have this like glamorous hop on a flight, go to Ibiza, trip with Tarte. I mean, I don't think any creator actually has it easy because your time is just being allocated in different ways and I guess you might be able to hire some help so maybe if you're making like that good, good money. <laughs> <laughs> you might be able to get some extra help that content creators like me don't have but either which way I like to think that nobody's life is easy and we're all just doing our best so that is my two cents of the day for you guys anyways this palette has some really beautiful shimmer shades of course are we surprised so what I would do is probably pick a shimmer shade and I'm trying really hard to see which one. Oh, they're all so pretty. Maybe we'll go in with Wilderness just to start off kind of simple. And you guys know I am low key, high key obsessed with these Sigma brushes. This is such an underrated flat brush for shimmer application. I just love how like dense this is. I think this is an E54, that's right. So simple two shadow look, just slap on a beautiful 
shed and go. Like, you know, throw on some mascara if you have the time. But that's totally stunning. And it looks like a little bit of a champagne shade in the pan, but I think it has like a green going on somewhere in here. So that's stunning. And it almost makes your eyelids look wet. So that would be just an easy two shadow look. Now, if you want to amp things up, what I would do is go into the shade called Bark, which is a really pretty like green brown shade and as per usual I'm just gonna throw that in the outer corner and it really just gives it a little bit more depth creates a bit of a smoky look you could also probably turn this into like a halo eye if you throw the brown in the inner corner as well I'm not gonna do that because I think that's gonna look a little too intense since this is supposed to be my more neutral look, but I want to show you guys, like, here's how you just take it from, like, day to night. Just adding one deepening up shade in the outer corner can help you do that. I'm going to go back into clay and maybe a little bit of the shade called sludge as well would be pretty in the crease, kind of like in this in-between spot. And just gonna amp up the crease a little bit more. You guys know I'm a sucker for blending and the Cosmic Beauty formula does not disappoint when it comes to blending. Now another thing you can do if you want to amp it up a little bit more is add another shade on the outer part of the lid. So I'm gonna go into the shade called Boggy which is a boggy poopy brownie shade and I'm gonna give it a spray and I will put that like right here kind of on the edge and like blend it into that lighter shade so that we have more dimension with the shimmers as well. So yeah, that's kind of how I like to work with shadows and make looks more interesting or just do a quick and easy look while I'm running out the door. So let's go ahead and finish this. I'm going to throw something in the waterline quick so I can complete the lower lash line. I recently had the time to actually declutter my eyeliner collection and I found this. This is from Glam Shop and it's old. It is just a beautiful like army green shade so I threw that in the waterline. You guys know I like to use the same shades I used on the lid on the lower lash line so I'm going to start off with the shade clay and we're just going to like run that right along the green. I feel like the lid shade I used is so green that it almost makes this eye look a green eye look, especially with the green eyeliner. <laughs> I'm like, wait, this is my neutral look? What? <laughs> so silly. So silly. I need to clean my hand mirror. It's so smudged and I can't see in it. So, <laughs> what is this smudge? Ah! Okay, I'm gonna go into Bark, which is the really pretty deepening up shade I used on the outer corner. This is such a nice color. It's so deep. It has such a nice depth to it. I think it's such a good shade and it's pigmented and it's blending really nicely so that makes me so so happy. This eyeshadow palette is reminding me of all the grungy green palettes that were in in like 2018 or maybe it was 2017 I'm not even sure. I was watching my friend Angie rank her Natasha Denona mini palettes and she held up the mini gold palette and I was like this palette totally reminds me of like an expanded mini gold yeah it was mini gold right palette from Natasha the one that had the army greens in it so anyway this is of course way better but I just felt like the concept was there so I really really like how this is looking let's go ahead and throw on something in the inner corner just to give it a little pop and then we can finish off this look so you guys can see it 
Okay, friends, so here is the finished look. What do we think? Let me tell you really quick what else is on my face today, just as a recap. So for highlighter and blush, I'm wearing two palettes. The blush palette is the Bake Blush Face and Cheek Palette from Bella Beauté Bar. I decided to use the shade Cannoli. I haven't used this in some time, so I was like, let me pull it out and use it for this look. And then highlighter is the Lunar Beauty Moonshroom Highlighter Palette. Haven't used that in a hot second. I just purchased this mascara today because when the Falsies Surreal Mascara from Maybelline came out, I accidentally bought this in the waterproof version and I'm not a big fan of waterproof mascara, so I was at Walmart today and I was like, let me try that mascara again. I really like how this one separates my lashes. It doesn't add a lot of volume to them, but I like how it separates, so we'll see. It's only my first time using it in the non-waterproof version, so we'll see how my thoughts develop over time. For bronzer, I went back to my Say bronzer in the shade Swim. I haven't used this in some time and I missed it. And for powder bronzer, I used the Hoola in the shade Caramel. Really love that so, so much. My lip color today is from Fenty Beauty. This is the shade Hot Chocolatey from the Gloss Bomb Stick line. And for foundation and concealer, I'm wearing the new LYS. This is their like skin tint in the shade TN6. I'm working on a reel with this one, but so far the shade match is really nice. It went on really well and I really like the coverage, so I'm excited to continue trying this. And I love the LYS concealer. I have this in the shade TN3, so that is my base today. So that's everything I used to create this look. Now let's go ahead and get into a fun green look with this palette. I'm very excited to go ahead and film the more colorful look with this palette, so I think I'm gonna go with the greens because my other look was supposed to be a more neutral eye look, even though I feel like it had like the tones of being like an olive green look, but I am so pumped. So let's go ahead and start with the shade Lynchin, I think is how you say it. It's this really pretty matte bright green shade, and I kind of just want to put that all over my lid and my inner crease. So yeah, I'm just gonna see how much I can build that up. I have on my Sigma Ignite eyeshadow primer and I was thinking in my head I should use like a colorful primer, but I always just end up trying to build it up myself. So let's see how much we can build up this color. Such a cute color. It's like a nice vibrant green. So I'm just gonna Kind of pack that on on the inner corner as well. Okay, that built up pretty well. Now I want to do the outer corner. So I'm going to go into the shade called Fern. It's a really pretty kind of poopy green shade. I'm going to take a clean brush and I'm going to go into Fern. And I'm just going to place that on the outer edge of my lid as well as my crease. Okay, so for the lid, I'm going to use this shade called Fireflies. It has a really pretty, like, green shift to it. So I'm going to see how that looks on the lid. I'm going to give it a spray. And I'm going to start on the outer edge here. Okay, I wanted to see if it was, like, going to take over the light green, but I think it has, like, a really pretty shift to it. So it's not going to take away from the light green, so I'm just going to go with it all over the lid, but I started on the outer half of the lid just in case it was gonna overpower the green, but I think it looks really pretty. So I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. That is so cute. Oh, this is so shifty, I see like gold, I see orange. I see a ton of green shift in this shadow. It's at least a trio chrome, but I think it might be a multi-chrome. Okay, I'm going to go back into that light green shade and just kind of pack it on on the crease a little bit just to brighten it up. Okay, and then I'm going to go back 
to the shade Fern, and I'm just gonna kind of tap that on the outer edge, and then I'm gonna go in to Marsh, which is like a, another kind of poopy color, and I'm just gonna blend Fern and the lighter green in between there. So cute, and then I'm gonna take the shade Bark, which is the darkest matte in the palette. And I'm just gonna add a little bit on the outer edge here. It's like a forest green. Okay, that looks so fun and green and yummy. Just my favorite kind of vibe. I'm gonna take a little bit of vegetation, let's see. I'm just gonna plop that on top too. Make it nice and green. So I really like how that's looking. I'm gonna line the waterline quick and finish up this look. Okay, so I'm wearing the two eyeliners, the greens that Natasha Denona launched when she launched her Yucca palette. So putting these on reminded me that this palette kind of reminds me of the Yucca palette but it's even better. I'm not just saying that because I love supporting all women-owned brands, even if they are bigger brands versus smaller brands, but I just feel like this color story is a little bit more interesting than the Yucca, and the shimmers are definitely more interesting than the ones you find in the Yucca. Obviously, both brands have their pros and cons, like Natasha Denona, you can stroll into a Sephora pretty much anywhere and pick up a Natasha Denona palette, whereas an indie brand, it's a little bit more of an involved process you have to buy on their website and things like that. But if you're willing to wait, and if you're willing to support a business that is women-owned and a small business, then I would totally recommend this palette because I have been trying their palettes out for quite some time now and I've just never been disappointed. So that's the truth, that's my, that's my truth. So anyways, I'm gonna grab the shade Bark on this Fantasy Cosmetica brush and I'm just gonna bring it on the lower lash line, just giving it that connection from the outer corner into the lower lash line, of course. Okay, that is looking so cute. And then I'm gonna take the shade Lin, Lin Shin or whatever. I don't know what it is, I'm sorry. And I'm just gonna press that on the inner corner. Because I want it to be as pigmented as possible. So I'm just kind of pressing it on the inner corner as well. Ooh, I just sprayed a matte. I've never sprayed a matte eyeshadow. Why have I never done that before? That like amped it up by like 5,000. Are you not supposed to do that? If you aren't, I didn't know, so I did it. Cute. The look is done. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. And I will be right back to give you guys my thoughts and review on the undergrowth palette. Okay, friends, so here is the finished look. What do you guys think? Definitely let me know which look is your favorite. If you like the more neutrally look, leave me a brown emoji. And if you like the second look, definitely leave some green emojis. I always love to know which look is your favorite. Now let me go ahead and tell you really quick what is on my face today in case you guys are curious. So I finally got to try out another shade of these Fenty blushes. This is the shade Lollipop. These are the Fenty Cheek Suede Powder blushes. And I have been trying out so many blushes recently I haven't had an excuse to try out some of the shades I picked up during the friends and family sale. So I finally got to try this one. and. It's pretty cute, it's pigmented. I feel like it could have blended a little bit better, but we'll see, it was just my first time using it, so the jury's still out on that. And then my go-to concealer and foundation have been from LYS. I'm really enjoying the skin tint that they have in the stick foundation format. The only thing is I have not tested how long wearing this is, so I need to do that. I just have not had the time to put on makeup and run around and do all the things I do in a day. So 
that's on my list. And then this is the Triple Fix Full Coverage Concealer from LYS. This is not a new product by any means, but I love it so, so much. And it's been fun to have an excuse to bring it out and wear it again. I can't tell you guys the highlighter I have on, but it's definitely getting announced soonish. So keep an eye out. And then I have the Hoola Caramel Bronzer as my powder bronzer and the Say Bronzer in the shade Swim. I've just been favoring these two a lot the past few days. And my lip combo is the e.l.f. lip liner and this is from the Sigma Beauty Little Mermaid collection. This is the shade Dingle Hopper and it's definitely a little too concealer lip for me to wear without a lip liner but paired with a dark lip liner I think it looks a lot better on my skin tone. So that is everything on my face today in case you guys are curious. You guys know I have a vast palette collection and I'm sure I could find something that is close to this color story. Like I said when I was doing my look, I thought of the Yucca palette because I use those eyeliners from the Yucca palette, but I also said that this is an indie brand, it's a smaller brand, and definitely the shimmers and the mattes are honestly, for me, better than the Natasha Denona Yucca palette. And I just feel like this color story is a little bit more interesting. So that could just be my preference. And to you, the Yucca palette might be the best palette out there. But if you have similar taste to me, I would say this palette is awesome. And I could go around looking at all of my palettes, looking at all the brands I have and pull other comparison palettes. But I'm not going to because I feel like for the price point, the quality, and the selection of shadows, Cosmic Brushes is really quite a unique brand. I think they do such a good job with their price point and still giving us like really interesting color stories. So full credit to whoever is working their butt off out there <laughs> with the Cosmic Brushes team. Now I do have all of their eyeshadow palettes. I don't think these are all similar, but I do feel like some of these would like pair really well together. And if you have like this palette, which is their Serenity palette, there are some grungy shades in here as well. I could definitely see people pairing these two palettes together because this has some beautiful green shades, but the Undergrowth palette has all of the gorgeous multi chromey duo chromey shades that this one doesn't have in that green spectrum but oh my gosh the serenity palette is the one that like really made me fall in love with the brand this is the other one i wanted to show it to you next to this is the muse palette this is definitely a very grungy kind of mauvey green grungy shade whereas the undergrowth palette is definitely more of a half kind of neutrally half green like monochromatic palette almost whereas the Muse palette has those purples and some of those more grungy shades. These two definitely have some similar tones but I also feel like they're different enough if you wanted to own both you could. And then the other one I want to show you this palette next to is the Neutrals palette and again these two are like so sickening like next to each other. I could literally stare at this palette combo all day long because they just go so well together. Recently I played with the Natasha Denona I Need a Warm palette and I also played with the Gold palette and I just feel like these palettes from Cosmic Brushes, I'm not saying they're dupes but I feel like when I consider what my preferences are I would much rather own these two palettes instead of those ones. So that's my two cents. I hope it's helpful to you guys. I just feel like these palettes have such a great formula, a great price point, a great color story. If this palette is not your color story, I would say check out the other palettes they have to offer because you're really missing out if you haven't tried this brand. So yeah, those are kind of my two cents on this palette. I've done two looks. I'm definitely going to do more looks with this because I love this brand. I think this is a great palette. You guys know me. I have been a lover of green eyeshadow for a very long time. So it takes a lot for me to be convinced that a palette is really good and so far this is on the right track so very happy with it any launch information i have i will put in the description box for you guys under the eyeshadow category like i said i do have an affiliate code with cosmic brushes so if you use my code kh makeup you can save on this launch as well as anything 
on the Cosmic Brushes website. If you are on a no buy or a low buy, just go ahead and shop your stash and remember that you just watching this video all the way to the end, it's already supported my channel. So don't ever feel pressure to buy anything based on my reviews. Only buy it if you want it or whatever you guys decide to do. But just watching my videos, liking my videos, commenting is totally free and a great way to support all of your favorite creators. We all so, so appreciate you guys. And just so you know, just in case, Go ahead and check out the giveaway in my description box. I do a monthly giveaway where I pick one person to send some goodies to. So if you've never entered, highly recommend doing so. And I just want to say thank you to all of you. So that is it for this video. I hope it was informative. If you have any questions, if I missed out on anything, leave a comment and I'll try and get to you just so I can help you guys out. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Happy Monday and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye friends.